What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over why if you are on the market for a dog, I think a Rhodesian Ridgeback could be the perfect fit for you or for your family. So first off, Diesel is now 11 years old. I say he's about 11 and a half, um, almost. Um, and he's doing really good, as you can tell. Um, he's still super active. Um, he's still super joyful, super playful. Still has a ton of energy. Um, loves going out on walks. Um, don't really take him out on a ton of runs anymore really um, we never did take him out on a ton of runs but a lot of people do use these dogs as you know a dog that you can use to take on a run but we, we've never used diesel to go on many runs he definitely has done his fair share of running uh, running up the mountains following the, uh, the jeeps and the trucks and all that sort of thing but um, no we take it we usually take him on a lot of walks and he still does perfectly fine on that um, so you know 11 years old is pretty old for a dog his size um, and his stature you know he's pretty big out of all his siblings he was definitely the red of the litter he was really really big um, the biggest he's ever gotten is about 130 pounds so he's a he's a pretty good sized dog um, for a ridgeback they're usually you know not that heavy um, i have heard of others being that heavy i don't know if you guys have a um, if you guys do have a ridgeback feel free to comment how how big yours is i'm kind of curious but um no, look, do uh, these these dogs are amazing. You know, they're um, they're super super curious dogs, as you can tell. Look, he's beefing with a fly right now or something that just went around. It's all right, buddy. Sit, sit, come here, sit. Good boy. Um, but look, if you if you're in a lot of my other videos, I've kind of talked about you know facts about dogs and facts about the Rhodesian Ridgebacks. And if you haven't seen those, feel free to go back and. Um, check those out and look at them because uh, I think they are very informative and they're really good videos um, but you know at this point I really am continuing to do these videos with Diesel not only just for like you guys and to help be educational with this uh, sort of thing but it's really fun to kind of document Diesel as he's getting older um, the first video I made with him was about two years ago when he was like nine and obviously with um, him being 11 now it's just kind of fun to continue to make these videos as long as he's here with us and um, you know, hopefully he's here with us for a long, uh, long while. So, um, you know, but if you are on the market for a dog um, and you want a dog that, one, is a really, really protective dog uh, with really no training required, just naturally, um, a Rhodesian Ridgeback would be the perfect fit for you. And if you're on the market for a dog as well, that's going to be a great family dog and will stick up for your family and um, watch out for you, keep you guys safe, um, you know, whatever they need to do or and you know if you guys are on the market for a dog that you want to be a family friendly dog a ridgeback is also really good diesel's amazing with kids um he's never been aggressive with with them whatsoever he's really he can he can read the room and read the environment really well and he'll be super calm and kind of just relax you know and um and be really good with kids come up you know like give him a little kiss or a lick on the head or whatever he's really good with kids and uh smaller children um, so yeah, they're awesome dogs because at the same time once they realize, you know, who's family or who's hanging out with their family They're so protective and you know um, I, I really believe that he would he would kind of throw down with anybody that he needs to to, to protect our family So it's really awesome um, But these dogs are really really um, They're really fun. They're really joyful. They're really playful um, You know if you're somebody who lives a pretty um, not active life I probably wouldn't recommend these dogs for you just for the sole fact that they need to be active. This isn't a dog that just wants to sit around the house and do absolutely nothing all day. Obviously, most dogs are going to spend most of their time probably just chilling, not doing a ton. But we have a really backyard, a big backyard, so he can walk out his doggy door, um, run around. He'll, I'll see him out here all the time chasing squirrels, you know, just kind of running around the yard being crazy. Um, so he, he gets really active on his own and comes out and does that type of thing. But we also, you know, take him on the walks and um, do what we need to do from our end to keep him in great health and keep him staying active and keep him young. So, you know, if you're somebody who kind of is cooped up in a smaller place or is not going to have time to help these dogs be active, I probably, in all honesty, wouldn't recommend these dogs for you just because, you know, one, it's unfair to you, but two, it's really unfair to them. Um, in the lifestyle that they need to be living and the lifestyle that they want to be living um, so yeah but if, if you are somebody who lives on a lot of land or if you're somebody who's an avid runner or a hiker or whatever or if you're an avid biker and you want to bring a dog along whatever the case may be or if you know you're you own land and you're running land and doing stuff um, these dogs 
dogs would be really good for you for that as well because you know they'll, they'll follow you around and kind of uh, keep an eye out for you. Um, you know, we, we we own a cabin in the mountains, and one time we were sitting on the porch. I've told this story in one of my other videos, I think, but um, for you new viewers, this is a really fun story. And we were kind of sitting on the porch, and we kind of heard something like walk up under the porch, right? And we didn't know exactly what it was, and we were like, man, what is that? Like, what is that sound? Well, it turns out it was a black bear that walked up under our porch and Diesel looked over and the black bear was trying to get a drink of water that had fallen in a bucket off the roof. And um, so Diesel noticed it was a black bear and jumped off the porch, which is about eight, eight feet tall, dove off and chased the bear into the woods, you know, kind of protecting the family and doing his thing, which was really awesome. And like, when I saw him do that, I was like, holy cow, like this dude, zero fear like massive black bear and diesel chased that thing off into the woods the bear was terrified it was absolutely awesome um but they're 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 awesome dogs man they're gonna watch out for you and your flock and um you know they're just really fun to have around uh one thing i will say if you're somebody who isn't home a lot and won't get to spend a lot of time with them that's also going to be really on any dog that's not fair but especially on these they will get very 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 anxious and um you know, they might tear stuff up, they might get into stuff and kind of like go on a little self-revenge tour and mess up your stuff and be like, hey, don't leave me alone at the house or the apartment or whatever, because it really stresses me out. Um, you know, you shouldn't do that to any dog, but especially with these and uh, with the experience I've had with him is he does get very anxious about that type of thing and he's just not a big fan of it. So if, you're got, if you guys aren't gonna be able to spend a lot of quality time with these dogs and really put in the time and the training that they need, um, just not necessarily like training training but just you know teaching them the basic stuff and being around the dog a lot then I also wouldn't recommend this dog for you it's a very hands-on animal you know they definitely need to have a job they're not just a dog that you're gonna have that you're not training to do at least I don't think because it's, it's not fair to them you know they're there are dogs that are here for a big purpose um, you know they used to use them as um, dogs to protect villages from lions or from anything else. So these dogs are very task driven. Um, they do have a big like a prey drive um, for sure. This dude, he'll go out and he loves being out in the outdoors. He loves the hunting type stuff. Um, you watch him chase raccoons or chase uh, squirrels up the tree all day long. And when he gets one, it's the greatest thing in the world. So, um, you know, they're, they're really active dogs. And I would say if um, you're on the market for one of these dogs, if you're an active person, if you're a person who can spend a lot of time with this dog, and if you're a patient person and somebody who has owned a dog previous to this one, look, I would say this could be a perfect dog for you um, as long as you know how to treat a dog. You know, For a first time dog owner, um, I'm not gonna sit here and say that you can't be a good dog owner. I'm not gonna sit here and say that just because it's your first time owning a dog that you're in incapable of owning a Ridgeback, that's not necessarily true. But there's definitely a learning curve to this, and if you're not a very patient person, you could get very impatient with them, you know. Um, so you definitely have to have a little bit of patience, and um, once you kind of, you know, assert yourself as the leader of the household and everything like that, and um, they know their role, like Diesel kind of just falls right into place, and um, he just protects the family, and he's a pretty, he's a good boy, other than, you know, just a few little hiccups here and there being stubborn. He might have torn his bed up a time or two, is it, no, you wouldn't do that, would you? Yes, he would absolutely do that. Um, he has done that. I don't know what bed, number bed we're on, but um, he's tore up a few beds. That's one thing he's been very notorious for um, in his lifespan is tearing up a bed or two. Never tore up shoes, nothing like that, but he will tear his own bed up, which is really weird. I'm like, okay, do you just want to sleep on the hard ground? Um, but no, man, these dogs are awesome. They're really fun. Uh, and if you guys have any other questions about these dogs, feel free to comment down in the comment section. Um, I love hearing stories that you guys leave on the posts about your dogs, um, about, you know, even if it doesn't even have to be this breed, any other dog breed, um, it's really cool. I've seen some comments about people saying, you know, uh, other dog breeds that pair well with these. A guy told me that um, his German Shepherd paired really well with um, a Ridgeback, and I thought that was really cool. He said that they really brought the best out of each other. Um, I'm sure that guy's household is the safest house in America, um, or wherever that gentleman lives. But um, yeah, no, I, I love seeing your guys' comments, so feel free to comment. Um, Diesel's 11 years old now, so hopefully we got a few more videos to, to make in the near future as he continues to get old. But um, 
you know, feel free to watch my other videos if you haven't. Um, and if you haven't already, please hit subscribe and uh, like this video. It really helps me out and um, helps me get this channel moving in the right direction. And I'm going to continue to make more videos and uh, get into some more stuff here soon once I kind of, you know, get settled into my new job more and uh, get settled into this uh, new place I'm about to move into. I'm really going to try to start being um, more creative here on YouTube and putting out some more content for you guys to enjoy. So um, I know you guys have asked me to post a little bit more. So I uh, really appreciate you guys being here if you're still here watching. Um, and please, if you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button. And me and Diesel will catch you guys in the next one. See you later. Say bye, Diesel. Bye. Boy, yeah, come on, go.